To add the structural steel libraries to SOLIDWORKS, first I'm going to come over to the design library and select it. Next, I'll expand SOLIDWORKS content. Then I'll select the Wellmits folder. Then I'll scroll down and hold the control key and click on the ANSI inch to download it. I'll browse to where I would like it saved and I'll select the folder and I'll save the download. I'll do this again for the ISO library. So I'll hold control and click to download it. Navigate to the folder I like it downloaded in and select the folder. And I'll do that for any of the remaining standards I would also like. Once they're downloaded, I'll use Windows Explorer to navigate to where they're downloaded. And they're zip files, so I'll right click on them and I'll extract all the files to their current folder. And I'll do this for both ANSI and ISO and any other standards I want to use that I've downloaded. Now that I've extracted these folders, I'm going to close Windows Explorer and back in SOLIDWORKS, I'm going to tell it to use these new profiles I've downloaded. To do that, I'm going to go into the options. Then from the systems options, I'm going to select file locations. And I'm going to tell it to show me the folders for the weldment templates. I'll select the weldment profiles. The current location of the weldment profiles is in the C program files, SOLIDWORKS Corp, SOLIDWORKS Language English, weldment profiles. And if I want it, I could have extracted the folders to there, but I chose to extract them to a different drive. So now I'm going to add that location. So I'm going to select Add. And I'm going to browse to where I downloaded them. So I put them in my D drive in a folder called SOLIDWORKS Weldments. And here they are. So I'm going to select the ANSI inch folder. So now I see it will look for the Weldment profiles here. And I'm also going to add the ISO one. So I'll back up to the SOLIDWORKS Weldment, select the ISO folder, and select folder. And now I've told it to look in these two locations as well for Weldment profiles. If I want to work from there only, I can select the default one and delete it or remove it from the list. Now that I properly pointed to where I want the Weldment profiles to be used from, I'm going to select OK. SOLIDWORKS is going to ask me if I really want to make the changes, and I'm going to answer yes.